Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are good you? Evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Tell me something something exciting that you did today. Uh, something exciting, maybe <laughs> participating in the in the well to explain a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my friends were making a short video related to music. So we had like a, a band of rock, mm -hmm. and we had a rehearsal today. So that's quite very exciting because we have never done that before. Mm, nice, nice. You did a video. Yeah, like like uh, like uh, I forget the word. How to say, en vivo? Live. Live, that exactly. So you were you were performing, live. Yeah, it was like a rehearsal, but mm. or a, like a rehearsal, but live uh, with my other friends. Nice, nice, excellent, good job. That's that's. Sounds like fun. It's super fun. It's very, very, very exciting because it has to be with a lot of things from the internet connection, also mm -hmm. with on charts and with the charts, with the instruments. It's a, it's a cr very crazy thing, but very interesting. Mm, nice, nice. Hey, la, te la tecnología, ¿va? The things that it opens doors for you, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Excellent. All right, very good. So, you guys are ready? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share my computer with you. Uh, ¿Por dónde van en la plataforma? Creo que ayer hicimos eh, 4.3. ¿Por dónde van ustedes? No quieren decir. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, chat. Okay. 4.8. Uh, Abner va 4.7, 4.8, 3.2. George, you, George, estás un poquito atrasado porque ya tienes que actualizar un poquito. Alex, okay, very good. Okay, very good. So, uh, midterm, okay, midterm es el 3. De, al final de la sección 3. Ahorita estamos en la 4.3. Bueno, esa es la que hicimos ayer, 4.3. Uh, let's see. Okay. Very good. So, let me share my computer with you. And I tell you what I have planned. Okay, very good. So, eh, aquí está la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Uh, 4.3 is past continuous versus the simple past. Okay? Past continuous versus the simple past. Esto lo hicimos ayer. Algunos de los grupos nos dieron unas buenas eh, conversations. Let me see. Uh, I want to find it. Ayer nos pasaron unas buenas stories. For example, this is a good story here. Um, nos mandó un grupo. So, we were using... The past continuous and the simple past. So let's just solo refrescar un poquito. Si tienen dudas, los que están un poquito atrasados, digan. Uh, while we were watching TV, a soccer player was about to score a goal. Okay. Uh, then the goalkeeper was paying attention. Ahí está el past continuous. When he blocked the ball. This is a, a very good example here, okay? So, ¿dónde está el past continuous? Was pain. Ahí está el past continuous, right? And I'm going to use it with the simple past. He blocked the ball. Ahí está el simple past. In the same sentence, okay? So, en lo que algo eh, estuvo pasando, Fue interrumpido por otro evento en el pasado. The 
Then the goalkeeper was paying attention when he blocked the ball, okay? We were very exciting because we thought that it could be a goal. We were very exciting. Aquí está, el past continuous, right? Where, solo que aquí hay un calificativo, but it's okay. Very exciting. And then you have simple past, thought, okay? However, the other score, the other soccer player kicked the ball while the goalkeeper was still on the ground. Kick the ball, simple past. La estructura, eh, el orden no importa si quieren poner el simple pass primero y después el pass continuous. The soccer player kicked the ball while the goalkeeper was still on the ground. Eh, pass continuous. We started to scream again when our neighbors were knocking on the door. Started to scream. Our neighbors were knocking on the door. So aquí tenemos a simple pass and the pre past present. And the baby is sleeping. Then we continue watching the match and we whisper the celebrations. Okay? We continue watching. So aquí tenemos continue, aquí le falta una D, okay? Continue watching, past, progressive, and we whisper, simple past, okay? So, prácticamente, esa es la lección de la sección 4.3. ¿Alguien tuvo una, algún problema con eso? ¿Con esa sección? ¿No? Did you watch the video? ¿Ya vieron el video? ¿Sí? Yes. Esto lo hicimos ayer, solo estoy repasando porque no todos, no todos se, se conectaron ayer, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. So, the next lesson that we're going to do, I want to go to, ah, ya hay una knowledge check that you can do here. Ya hicieron esto, knowledge check. Lo hicimos ayer juntos. Pero se lo dejo de tarea. Okay, for example, look at number one. Wow, it tiene divers, and then it gives you the verb. I have to use past continuous, we're working. Okay. En algunos casos no voy a usar past continuous, sino simplemente el simple past. They discovered a ship brain containing gold. All right, very good. So, les dejo de tarea eso. If you have any problems, tell me, okay? Let's go to the next lesson. There's another grammar lesson. It's 4.8. Okay? So, eh, aquí hay un video. Creo que son como 4 o 5 minutos. Okay? Uh, ¿Quieren ver el video o quieren ver mi presentación del tema? <laughs> Your presentation. Presentación. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Eh, and then... No crean, los videos están buenos también, but, you know, just, just in case, ¿ok? Creo que las presentaciones, las presentaciones que yo hago, trato de que sean más eh, speaking. All right, very good. So, eh, yo le nombré así, past event and past perfect event. ¿Ok? So, we're going to use a past event, puede ser en el past continuous, en el simple past, and then past perfect. So, antes que vaya, solo quiero... Ayer hicimos un repaso de los verb tenses, ¿se acuerdan? Okay. So, if you look at the, at the chart that I sent you, you have simple pass and past continuous. Simple pass is I played. Perdón. I played baseball. That's an example of simple pass. Okay. Lo cual la, puede que se use en esta lección también. Um, then, I was playing baseball, okay? La, es, las dos están en el pasado, right? Simple past, past continuous, and then past perfect. I had played baseball, okay? Now, el past perfect tiene algo que tiene que ser mandatorio, had, okay? Had has to be there. And then this is, no es en el verbo en el pasado solamente, sino que es que 
¿Qué dijimos que era? Participle. Past participle. Ok. So, ese tiene que ser el verbo en el tercer tiempo. Por eso le mandé un cuadrito en la mañana. I send it to WhatsApp, right? That you can see the different verbs. A base verb, simple past, and past participle. For the past perfect, tiene que tener had y tiene que tener el past participle. Okay? All right, so let's go to the presentation. Okay, very good. Uh, here, for example, I have two events. Okay? I cooked a wonderful meal, que es el past event, that I had seen on TV. So, I have two events here. Y quiero, quiero ver si ustedes pueden notar cuál vino primero y cuál vino después. ¿Cuál vino primero? Second one. ¿Sería cuál? I had seen on TV. Yes, correct. Esta es la, la, la segunda parte de la oración de la estructura. I had seen on TV. Yeah. So, esto vino primero. Right? Y después vino esto. Pero digamos que el presente estaría aquí. Aquí está el presente. Right? Significa que todo esto está en el pasado. Right? So, pero uno vino a, antes y después el, el otro. So, I cooked a wonderful meal that I had seen on TV. Okay? Alguna gente le gusta ver el cooking channel. Right? The Food Network. There in cable. You can watch it. And you can see cooking all day. Right? So I saw the cooking channel, I saw the recipe, and then I said, hey, I think I could cook this. Y después de todo eso, me encuentro con mis amigos en la tarde, me preguntan, hey, what did you do this afternoon? ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Uh, I cooked a wonderful meal that I had seen on TV. ¿Ustedes ven cómo se puede usar? ¿Por qué se usa? If someone asks you, hey, what did you do today? I cooked a wonderful meal that I had seen on TV. Okay, very good. The next one. I was reading the book that I bought at the airport. So, ¿qué pasó primero? Uh, bought uh, the airport? Ship. Yes. Right? Antes de, de subir al avión, estaba esperando en el lobby. And I saw a book there. Hey, this looks like a good book. I'm going to buy it. And then I got on the plane. So, después llego, eh, tres horas después, y estamos en el presente. Y alguien me dice, hey, what did you do in the... In the in the plane, what did you do? I was reading a book that I bought at the airport. Okay. Very good. So, aquí está, reading a book that I bought at the airport. Okay. Let's go to the next example. Another example. I was talking on my cell phone when I realized I had dropped my wallet. So, ¿Qué vino primero? What happened? I was talking. Talking on the cell phone. Talking on my cell phone. Yes, very good. No, eh, lo que vino primero es que boté la cartera. I had dropped my wallet. Uh -huh. I had dropped my wallet. Then, me cae una llamada, so I start talking on the phone. Okay? Y después viene el policía porque hice un reporte. <laughs> I was talking on the cell phone when I realized I had dropped my wallet. Okay? So, what type of sentence is this? Aquí tengo una, una, una combinación de dos, de, de, de dos verb tenses. What is this one? Do you recognize this one? Past continuous. 
past, past continuous. continuous. Mm -hmm. Se puede decir past continuous or past progressive. I was talking on, the, on my cell phone. That is an example of past continuous. And then I had, ¿cuál es esta? Past perfect. Past perfect. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. I was talking on my cell phone when I realized I had dropped my wallet. Now, quiero que noten algo por veces usamos este tipo de palabra. Okay? Para ayudar, ayudarnos. Okay? So sometimes you will see this word. Okay? Sometimes you another word que es meanwhile, mientras. Okay? Very good. All right. Let's go to the next example. I think I have another one. Okay, what about this one? I called my boss after I had eaten my meal. Okay. So, ¿qué pasó primero? I had eaten my meal. Eaten my meal, correct. Okay, so esto pasó primero. And then, I called my boss. Okay. Uh, this is simple past. Como ustedes pueden ver, no tiene que ser past, eh, past progressive, no. It can be simple past. And this is uh, past perfect aquí. Okay. Very good, very good. All right, let's see. Another one. I paid for the ticket after I had woken up from my map, my nap. I paid for the ticket after I had woken up from my nap. So, ¿qué estaba haciendo yo primero? Pay the ticket. No, I was uh, na well, napping. Yeah, no. Taking a nap. Taking a nap. Yeah. Uh -huh. Taking a nap, right? And then, me levanté, like, oh, I have to go pay for my ticket. And then I pay for my ticket. So, I pay for the ticket after I had woken up from my, my nap. Now, be careful, porque aquí, you remember the verb wake, y después está walking. Okay. Yeah. yeah, wake, walk, walking. So remember, it's como see, saw, seen. Okay. So remember to use the past participle. I ran as fast as I could when I had seen the bus leaving. Okay, when I had seen the bus leaving, so that's the past perfect, and then I ran as fast as I could. Ran is a, a irregular verb, right? Run, ran. And then uh, here I had seen, este sería el past perfect, okay? Seen is the past participle. See, saw, y después el past participle. Seen. Okay, so you have to use the past participle. All right. You creo que ya, ya entendieron, va? Yes. Easy. Yes. You can do it. So, a, a question, teacher. Huh? In the second example, in the second example, I didn't see the word how. The past. No sé. uh, este el primero. Oh, no. No. This is the first one. The second one. Ah, yes. I was reading the book that I had bought. Yes, thank you. I need had. Mm -hmm. I was reading the book that I had bought at the airport. Okay, very good. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to make some examples like this. Okay. You can make some examples. I want you to practice. Now, eh, no encontré ningunos ejemplos así en línea. Que ustedes puedan ver exacto, right? que sean específicamente esta lección. Um, I didn't see it, honestly. Honestly, no encontré. Okay? But uh, what you can do is, if you see here, hay un cuadrito bien útil que nos puede ayudar. Si, si, si ustedes pueden ver aquí en el video, no le voy a dar play. Simplemente hay un cuadrito aquí que nos puede ayudar. So, here you have the past present and future, okay? Now, 
All this happens in the past, obviously, right? But I went to the party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. So, let me see. Let me see. Quiero que pueda escribir. Okay, let me, ah, aquí está. All right, so, ¿qué pasó primero? Esto pasó primero. Okay. Y después pasó esto. Do you see? I went to the party last weekend, but when I got there, ya había pasado algo. My friends had eaten all the food. Okay? So, remember to use this. Eh, por regla, el past perfect va a ser lo más antiguo. ¿Verdad? Si ustedes ven siempre el past perfect va a ser lo que pasó antes del simple past. Okay? Very good. So, with that, I'll, I'm going to let you go to groups and I want you to practice making sentences like this. Okay? Eh, yo tendría que ver para que podré, puede calificar o puedo chequear so, si quieren, pueden usar el chat o alguien puede compartir la pantalla and you guys can do practices, okay? All right, questions? No? Let's practice a little bit. Let's go to groups. Okay, let's go to the groups, please. Accept the invitation so that we can go to the groups. Eh, Wilber, uh, ¿está ahí? ¿Aló? Wilber, ¿estás ahí? ¿Aló? Wilber, no le escucho. Eh, Wilbert, lo voy a asignar a un grupo, ¿ok? Ok, very good. ¿Están trabajando juntos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're ¿Cómo, thinking. ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Si alguien tiene, alguien tiene una compu para no. que pueda usar Word. No. no. Ok, entonces van a usar chat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ok, very good. Le voy a poner un ejemplo en el chat. I don't know if you can see it, for example. Um, oh, Alex puso uno. 
He traveled around the world after he had won the lottery. A, hey, excellent, very good, Alex, good job. Okay, Alex, ahí, ¿cuál sería el, el, el uh, qué pasó primero <laughs> en esto? En esta oración que tú pusiste. He what happened the first? Lottery. He won the lottery. And then, what happened after? He traveled. He decided to travel around the world. Excellent, good job, good job. So, give me another example if you can, okay? Mm, I don't know if, if it's okay. I was mm -hmm. arriving at the bus station when I realized that my cell phone has been stolen. Had been. Had, yeah, had, yeah, had been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. So write it. Only that you use the correct, right? Okay. This may not look. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. Let me write an example here. Uh, I arrived to the airport and had seen that the plane left. I arrived to the airport and I had seen, we use that when, when I had seen that the plane left. Let me see, Gladys, this is another example. I was arriving at the bus station when I had, when I had, I the falta had, realized that my cell phone, ah, no, let me see. I was arriving at the airport when I realized that my cell phone had been stolen. That's correct. Ahí tenés dos past events, but that's okay. Okay. I realize, I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is another one. I didn't do the homework because I had lost my notebook. Mm -hmm. Very good. I didn't do. That's in the past, simple past, right? Okay. okay. Very good. So try to do, give me like three examples each. Three examples. Okay. Uh -huh. I Okay, uh, number one, yeah. maybe you can use done after I had done my homework. Ah, uh, sorry. Do you remember do, yeah. did, and then done? Okay. I have done my homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I found a parking spot after I had passed it. Okay. I wrote a letter in a notebook that I had bought last week. Very good, excellent, excellent. Very good. Okay, Give me... So you were saying another example. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can continue with I want. No lleva coma este. No, verdad. No, es una sola oración. Creo que no es necesario. I teacher. Okay, very good. I had not finished the dinner when the waiter gave me the check. Okay, so um, gave, estoy viendo el cuadrito que les mandé. Gave, uh, a give, gave, given, given. Given, given. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero no, no es, es en pasado simple. Ah, entonces ahí tienen que, ¿cuál sería el past perfect? El past perfect uh, inicio, I have not I finished. Have not finished. Uh, yeah, puede ser también. Solo uh -huh. so, so okay. que lo pusimos en no. negativo. Sí, sí, y la pusieron al inicio, no, no. 
en vez de, de al final, pero está bien, la orden no importa. I had not finished the dinner when the waiter gave me the check, ¿ok? All right. Eh, ¿Vieron el cuadrito que les mandé con los verbs? Yes. Ok, de allí, de esos, de esos past, uh, past participles, you can get some, some ideas from there. Ok. Porque el difícil es buscar el past participle. The simple past, you can, you can use also uh, was. Ok, maybe. For example, I was driving my car. Ahí está la primera parte. I was driving in the car. Oh, or you can say, uh, for example, si quieren hacerlo así, en la misma orden que ustedes hicieron, hicieron la primera, I had driven my car. I had driven my car. So I style past perfect. And then give me a simple past. When, and then you can use something you want. Okay, and what wow. Mm -hmm. Correct. I have driven my car when you called me. Very good, excellent. ¿Y cuál es la otra forma? Puedo poner, you called me when I have driven my car. Uh -huh. eh, you called me when I have driven my car. Uh -huh. Solo que hay, hay que tener cuidado porque... Yeah, you have to be careful <laughs> to, 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 uh, to say, but no voy a confundir lo que quieres decir, right? Because remember, remember, una cosa va primero y después la otra, es decir, sí. En la línea de tiempo, una cosa pasa primero y después la otra. Okay. Uh, let's see, for example, uh, if you remember in in one of the examples that I have, that I, that I put there, um, for example, uh, remember, uh, I was reading the book that I had bought at the airport. Okay, so I said, puede ser my name? Hey, ¿qué pasó? Ahí está. I was reading the book that I, uh, that I bought at the airport. That I had bought. Or I broke my cell phone that I bought in that I have bought I have bought at uh, uh, yesterday. Yes. Okay. Something like that. Uh huh. Repeat. I broke my cell phone. I dropped. Broke. Broke. The romper. Ah, broke. Broke uh -huh. my cell phone. That I had bought yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. That I that I had bought bought. This is my first day on on the weekend that I that I am connecting with you because. Um, for example, on Monday and on Tuesday, I had a lot of calls and it's really difficult because I didn't have any time to, to, to use my break. So, teacher, 
Um, I have, a, well, I think we have a, a we have a, a question about this. We can use um, past perfect at, at the beginning of the sentence or just at the end. I think we can use at the beginning when we don't use comma, right? Yes, yes. Um, you can use it, you can switch it. The order does not matter, but you have to be careful not to confuse uh, the person. For example, uh, let me see. No sé si pueden ver el chat. Creo que no. Porque ahorita no puedo compartir mi pantalla con ustedes. O creo que sí. Voy a, voy a intentar algo. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, si ven el, el, el ejemplo que ellos pusieron acá, eh, hay una coma. Aquí no sé si la pueden ver en el cuadrito. Here. Oh, yes. For, yeah. When I came back, comma, someone had stolen my wallet. Okay. Now, el hecho de la coma eh, es para para darle a la persona como un, un, un tiempo para pensar. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, can you switch this? Es decir, can you say, someone had stolen my wallet when I came back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can switch it. Mm -hmm. Después de dar vuelta. Putting the past event first and then the past perfect. Yeah. But remember, the purpose of this is, es como está el cuadrito aquí, es, aquí está el, el past, simple past, pero aquí está el past perfect. So, el past perfect es más antiguo, por decirlo así. Es más viejo en la cadena de tiempo. It happened first of the simple past. Ajá. This, 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 no, the past perfect es el más antiguo. Ajá. For example, if you if you look at the 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 sentence there, like it tiene el color verde y color amarillo, I went to the party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had already eaten the food. So, ¿qué pasó primero? El past perfect. Mm -hmm. My friends had already eaten the food. Eso pasó primero. So this this goes here, and this event. Este va aquí. El past perfect es más, es más completo, es más, más antiguo. Ok, very good. ¿Pudieron hacer algunos ejemplos? ¿You guys do yeah. some examples? Eh, Yo, no, tell me. What do you um, I said, um, I, I went to, for example, I'm going to give you a new one because I, I am not remembering everything. So, I went to the park uh, before I had finished my breakfast. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. That's good. Well, I, uh, one of the examples I, I said was I improved my skills, my English skills mm -hmm. after I had ended this this lesson. Okay, okay. Very good. Remember to use the past participle, right? Okay. Eh, ¿Vieron el cuadrito con los past participles? Yes. After I had finished, right? Yes. Okay. They're in the group, yes. right? I put it there. That is That is to help you, right? That is in case you want to uh, expand your vocabulary for those verbs. For example, see, saw, sing, give, gave. ¿Cuál sería el past participle? Given.
Okay. Welcome. De regreso. Okay. Did you guys make some examples? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. Excellent. Can you give me some examples on the chat? Imagino que practicaron varios. Can you give me some examples? No, en el chat de Zoom. Aquí en el chat de, de Zoom. So that we of can course. Mm -hmm. Give me some examples. Of course. Okay, so, uh, Sara says, Sarai, perdón, says, I had not finished that dinner when the waiter gave me the check. Very good. I have driven my car when you called me. Okay. I broke my cell phone that I that I bought. Oh no, that I had bought yesterday. Very good. I finished the homework when my internet had fallen. Had fallen. Siempre el had, right? Porque el has is simple present third person. Had. The pool was been. No, or had been. Ahí creo que Gladys quiere decir had been, right? The pool was, entonces sería solamente was cleaned when she had already jumped in. The pool was clean when she had already jumped in. Okay, very good. Anna was waiting for him, but he had not went. No, ¿cuál es el past participle that went? Omar. Ahí que gone. Ver. gone, very good. Mm -hmm. I went to the park after I had finished my breakfast. Very good. I went to the park after I had finished my breakfast. Very good. Uh, Omar, no, in past participle, they went. No, it's go, it's gone. Go, went, gone. I went to my office after I had stopped after it had stopped raining. Mm -hmm. Aquí, Carlos, um, I went to my office after it had stopped raining. Gotten. Uh, Omar, you need to check the past participles. I didn't do the homework because I had lost my notebook. Very good, Abner. Okay, and uh, Adner was working on the exercise which Gladys had presented one week ago. Ah, very good. Okay, uh, Alex, in ese ejemplo that you used one week ago, esa palabrita ago es una expresión de tiempo y nos ayuda a entender muy bien ahí. Very good. Okay, all right, excellent. I think everybody did a very good job in this lesson, okay? So, uh, no los quiero confundir porque esta era la que hicimos. Yeah, esta es otra lección. All right, so let me go to the, let me go to the platform, okay? Now, los ejemplos que ustedes hicieron, right? Very good. You can put it here in the discussion box. This is exercise 4.8, the video, right? And pueden escuchar allí al teacher. Uh, you can listen to him if you want to get a better understanding there. Um, and you can put the exercise there. Lo pueden poner aquí en el discussion box. You can put some of those exercises that, that you guys did, okay? So congratulations, very good. Yo creo que casi todos entendieron muy bien, so no problem. You can put the exercise there, okay? Uh, tomorrow we're going to see the next lesson. No me quiero adelantar mucho porque mucho grammar, 4.9, but tomorrow we'll do 4.9, okay? All right, very good. Let me do a, a speaking exercise here with you. Let's see. ¿Se acuerdan el cuadrito este de... ¿Cuál es? Es este. Es este. Okay, do you guys remember we were talking about fluency, right? Right? So, ¿qué tengo que tener antes para desarrollar fluency? What do I need to have? Vocabulary. Eh, yeah, esa es una. 
So I need to have, uh, do you remember the triangle? The triangle of, of power, okay? So what do I need to have? Alguien dijo vocabulary, very good. Grammar. Grammar, that's another thing that I need to have. Uh -huh. Thought another organization. One? Thought organization. Okay, very Reading. good. Reading. Eh, eh, eso, eso ya lo vamos a ver en otro, en otro cuadrito, pero ahorita estamos hablando de fluency. So, fluency is composed of vocabulary, grammar, and thought organization. I have to have those three things there. Okay? So, ahorita que estamos entrando aquí, esta, estas últimas secciones han sido bastante pesadas con el grammar, but it's good because you're developing your, your fluency, okay? Now, for thought organization, what can you do to help you for thought organization, okay? Yo les dije que traten de pensar eh, organize. So, for example, eh, let's say if I ask you a question, okay? What, uh, no, where do you see yourself in five years? Okay. This is a, a question. Normalmente en un trabajo, una entrevista, quieren saber eso. Eh, ¿Cuáles son sus planes, sus objetivos? Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay. So, to answer this question, maybe you want to give four objectives or four goals four things that you want to talk about, okay? So maybe you can say, where do you see yourself in five years? And algo que me va a ayudar con thought organization is going to be linking words. Do you guys remember? First of all, to begin with, for starters, then when I'm going to change, I say also, additionally, secondly, you can say next, también, besides, Furthermore, or you can go in order, in, in, in order de importancia. You can say first, secondly, thirdly, okay? ¿Por qué digo thirdly? Secondly. Eh, ese li es un adverb, for example, when you say primeramente, segundamente, okay? All right, and then you can, when you're going to finish your idea, you can say finally, in conclusion, Fourthly, or to sum, to sum it up. Okay? So, ¿quién quiere darle aquí? Who wants to try the fluency? The fluency test. ¿Quién quiere compartir? Okay, let's, let, let, me, let me help you. Okay, so, I'm not going to write everything. Este cuadro no es para escribir, porque no es, no es un writing exercise, es un speaking exercise. So I'm going to say, first of all, um, I see myself uh, a, having a family, digamos, all right? Next, uh, let's say I want to talk about my, uh, I want to have a business. Next, uh, I want to have um, uh, another goal. I want to travel to Canada and see my family. Next, what else? Finally, um, I see myself a, a better person. Okay, very good. So, aquí están mis ideas only ideas and I can say first of all I see myself with a, uh, having a family I would like to have one child uh, two children um, I would like and uh, besides that I see myself uh, putting a business maybe I would like to have an online business besides that I would like to travel to Canada and see my family and finally uh, in five years I would like to become a better person Suena bien, right? 
And yo creo que todos pueden hacer eso. Todos aquí, su inglés, su nivel, lo pueden hacer. No hay nadie que no lo pueda hacer. What you have to do is organize your ideas. Thought organization. Okay? So, I'm going to give you this for you to do for homework. Okay? You can record it. Me pueden mandar un mensaje. And I will check your fluency. Okay? Y yo te voy a decir, well, you know, I think you need to work on the grammar, you need to work on vocabulary, you need to work on thought organization. Okay? So maybe you, I'll send this to you if you want to. Si quieren feedback, okay? Si quieren feedback de qué áreas pueden mejorar, dónde van, you know, you can, you can also do this. Okay? No problem. Um, I will give you feedback. Okay? ¿Alguien lo quiere hacer ahorita? ¿Alguien se atreve? ¿Sí? No. I know you can do it. I, I will try it. You want to try it, Omar? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. But uh, oh. <laughs> let me see the chart. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let me show you the chart. Wait. You want to use my ideas or you want to use your own ideas? My own ideas. Ah, okay. Okay, first of all, I want to finish my career in the university. And additionally, I would like to start another one. Besides um, having a family, and finally, uh, why not become a businessman and travel around the world? Excellent, good job, Omar. Very good, very good. Good vocabulary, good fluency good thought organization, good grammar. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, te puedes detener en cada una, right? And maybe explain a little bit, for example, uh, okay. I want, I'd like to have a, a new career. Uh, and then maybe you can tell me what career you want to study. If you want to travel, you can tell me where you want to travel. Okay, so, te puedes expandir un poquito, like, give me idea, example, idea, example, idea, example. Okay. Very good. Good job. Good job, Omar. Excellent. Okay. Another person? I would like to, to try. Do it. Okay. For the starters, um, since now to five years, I would like to finish some goals that I have. Uh, first of all, I would like to have my own, my own car. I have a motorcycle now, but I would like to have a car. I would like to have a better job or a better position in my actual job because I want to get my own house and help my family in order to be closer as a family, right? Um, also, um, I would like to continue my studies at the university. I was studying graphic designs for two and a half years, mm -hmm. a while ago, around three or four years ago. So I would like to continue that. And uh, I would like to start uh, with some uh, uh, careers, like, like, for example, languages, because I would like to learn five languages at least okay. um, besides that I think it's really important to me um, to get a, a family in that period or maybe in five or six years after uh, now because I think I will be able to to help my family my actual uh, group uh, of family and, mm -hmm. and my new family at the same time Mm -hmm. if everything goes right and finally i would like to be a better person uh, help others in my community and uh, be uh, better than i am right now okay that's good, it. good job good job pablo very good uh, here when you say it's very important for me you can say it's yeah, very important to me, to me. okay to me, yeah good job good job excellent all right so very good. Thank you for explaining each one. That's very, that's excellent. Okay. 
Eh, remember, solo quiero explicar un poquito de cada punto. No me quiero detener mucho ahí. You know, just to continue so that, that I can answer the question and continue order. Very good. You know, when you say finally or besides, yo sé que tú has, has hecho un cambio de idea. And that is important for me to listen to that. Right? Excellent. Very good. One more person. Huh? One more person wants to go? Alguien más? You want to try it? Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? Somebody wants to try it? No? All right, very good. Well, uh, I will send you this. If you want to send it to me, okay? Send it to me, practice your fluency, and I will listen to it. Y le voy a dar feedback, right? Le voy a grabar un mensaje de voz, así como ustedes me mandaron un mensaje. So that I can give you some feedback, okay? Very good, excellent. Okay, questions for today? No? Sobre la, la grammar, the lesson that we did today. Do you have any questions for the grammar? No, teacher. No? We're good? Okay. All right, excellent. Okay. Practice, practice, y hablen, right? ¿Cuántos tienen alguien con quien hablar? Inglés. Me. And Me. Good. Do you have someone, like a friend, a family member? Yeah? ¿Tienen alguien con quien, con quien hablar? My yes. son. Your son? Ah, okay. He knows English. I, I have been I have been chatting on WhatsApp with a, a person who is from United Kingdom. But Man, the English awesome. is, is something weird for me because it's not yeah. American. You know? Yeah, their accent is, is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> their accent is very difficult, yeah. Yes. All right, but, but that's good. That's good. Okay. Look. I recommend that you practice with someone, okay? okay. Si pueden hablar con un familiar, eh, alguien que esté un familiar que tenga en Estados Unidos, and I want to speak English with them, okay? Try to do it, okay? Put in practice what you're learning. Okay, very good. I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Okay, okay bye. Pretty much.